without wasting any time let me just introduce you all to today's very interesting topic which is DTU versus triple ITD and NSUT so we will do a very interesting and amazing comparison between these three institutes of Delhi which will really help you to just uh, choose the right institute for yourselves so do watch this video till end to grasp as much information as possible so let's just start with DTU which is Delhi Technological University also known as Delhi College of Engineering it is a government college with an IRF ranking 36 coming on the next one which is triple I TD and it is Indraprast Institute of Information Technology Delhi again it is also a government college with an IRF ranking 63 the last one NSUT Netaji Subhash University of Technology Delhi it is also a government college again but here the NIRF ranking is 88 so this was just a basic introduction for these three institutes let's just discuss them in a separate manner and then we we'll try to find the best among them okay let's just move forward quickly starting with DTU so let's just first discuss about the courses that are available in DTU so here you can get BTEC, BBA, BDES, MBA, MTech, BA honors now let's just come on the fields that are available under BTEC so here BTEC is available in biotechnology, chemical engineering, civil engineering, computer engineering, electrical engineering, environmental engineering, mechanical engineering and others the long list that you can see on your screen and talking about the best field so here uh, the best field is computer engineering only now you can just see the fee structure of different courses on your screen like for BTEC you have to pay 1.9 lakhs for one year that is uh, annual fees and for BBA it is 90,000 BDES it is 1.9 lakhs BTEC it is 1.9 lakhs MBA 1.9 lakhs again MTEC 1.66 lakhs BA honors 90,000 and the eligibility criteria is also given besides the fees so you can just have a look at that and after that let's move forward and the hostel fees over here is rupees 30,800 coming on the seats so under the BTEC category there are around 2500 seats available and yes even our NRI students can study in this institute for you guys you can apply through the DASA or CIWG quota under which in the two you can get around 88 seats available for you so that's it for D2 now it's time for triple I TD so here guys the courses which are offered to you are BTEC, MTech, PhD and PG diploma BTEC is available in fields like computer science and applied mathematics, computer science and artificial intelligence, computer science and biosciences, computer science and design and the others listed below. The best course over here is also computer science and engineering. Coming on the fees, so the fees is just given on the screen. Look at the table which is presented to you for PhD you have to pay around 1 lakh annually for MTech it is 4.72 lakhs which is the total fees and for BTech it is 4.12 lakhs which is your first year fees and for PG diploma you have to pay around 2. 5 lakhs which is again the total fees the eligibility criteria is also given besides that like for PhD you need post graduation for MTech you need to pass in graduation plus GATE score BTech it is 
plus 2 with 75 percent plus JEE mains. So again you can get admission in this institute through your JEE mains exam. Coming on PG diploma so graduation is enough. Now let's move towards the hostel fee of this institute. So it is rupees 30,800. Now Coming on the NRI quota, so again my NRI students can apply through the DASA or CIWG scheme and in III TD around 21 seats are reserved under the data, uh, DASA and CIWG scheme. Now that's it for III TD. Now we will go to our last institute for today and that is NSUT. So, the courses offered by NSUT are BTech, BBA, BFTech, MTech, MBA and PhD. BTech is available in fields like Biotechnology, Computer Engineering, Computer Science and Engineering with specialization in Artificial Intelligence. Computer Science and Engineering with Specialization in Data Science, Electrical Engineering, Electronics and Communication Engineering and the list goes on and on and on as you can see on the screen. Again, the best field over here is Computer Engineering only. If we talk about the fees, so as you can see in the table for BTEC, you have to pay around 8.44 lakhs. For BBA, it is 2.82 lakhs. BF Tech, it is 8.44 lakhs. And the other fees is also given besides that. Coming on the eligibility criteria, again, you need the J main score for your BTEC in this institute also. Coming on the BBA, you have to give the entrance exam of NSUT only for getting admissions in the BBA course. Coming on BF Tech, it is J main again. M Tech, it is GATE. MBA, it is CAT. And PhD, it is GATE or UGC NET. So that's it for the eligibility criteria. If we talk about the hostel fees, so guys, here it is rupees 17,000. Coming on the seats under the BTEC category, so for BTEC there are 1601 seats available. For my NRI students, again guys, the DASA and CIWG scheme is available in this particular institute also and under this scheme around 29 seats are available for you all. So guys, that was a basic comparison between these three institutes. Now, the most important thing about these institutes and that is the difference between their placement drives. I guess that is the only topic that interests you more, right? So let's just quickly move towards that topic now and we will discuss the placements of these three institutes now. So firstly, let's just talk about the top recruiting companies of DTU. So here you can just see the big names like Apple, Bain and Company, Google, BCG, Microsoft, Amazon, Goldman Sachs, Flipkart. Now another very important thing that you guys should know, the highest package of DTU for 2021 was rupees 51.75 lakhs per annum which is really a very good amount. Now it's time for triple I TD top recruiting companies. So here again you can just see the big names like Facebook, Morgan Stanley, Goldman Sachs, Google, Philips, Mintra, Samsung, HCL, OLX, NetApp etc etc. Now another interesting thing about Triple ITD and that is the highest package of 2021. So guys it was rupees 50 lakhs per annum. That's it. 
for triple ITD. Now let's move to our next institute that is NSUT and let's just discuss about the top recruiting companies of this institute. So here you can see the names like Accenture, Avaya and Indian Oil, Honda, Hero Honda, IBM, McKenzie and Company. Now the highest package for 2021 again it was rupees 50 lakhs per annum. So guys that's it for our these three institutes. I hope you have gathered enough information about them which will be very helpful for you all and for my NRI students in all these three institutes the DASA and CIWG scheme is applicable but still if you need more information about the DASA or CIWG scheme you can download our ebook which is Especially on DASA and CIWG scheme, the link for this ebook is given below in the description box. Or you can even contact the test prep card team for further guidance through the link which is given below in the description box. So guys, all three institutes are equally good and equally prestigious but still if you want to compare between them then yes in some cases D2 is having a upper hand above the other two institutes but all three of them are equally good because at the end of the day it's your scores it's your hard work and your dedication that matters and that will get you a good company and the best package so just put your hundred percent wherever you are i hope uh, this video was useful for you if you liked it then click on the like button and do share it with your other friends also but still if you are having any doubts or any queries related to anything you can just comment them in the comment section and we will try our level best to help you out so guys that's it for this video hope to see you soon till that time take care